What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. So AMD released the RX 590 a couple of weeks ago. We've been doing some testing with the Sapphire Nitro Plus Edition that you see over here. And like a lot of people have already stated, this is basically a rebranded RX 580 with a 12 nanometer architecture instead of 14 nanometers and a higher TDP capacity of 225 watts versus 185 watts on the RX 580. Now with that, you're gonna see slightly higher base and boost frequencies with these new generation of 590 cards but besides really that there's really no difference between the 580 and the 590 and compared to a, to a reference grade Vega 56 if you take a look at our initial benchmark results on time spy we're getting a graphic score about 4817 on the 590 about 4320 on the 580 and the Vega 56 is still quite above the other two at 6258 points and if you take a look at our real world benchmark results both in 1080p and quad hd resolution if you look at battlefield one we're getting about 100 average frames per second on our uh, 590 the 580 is not too far behind at 93 fps and we're looking at about 133 fps on the vega 56 you can also see the quad hd results just below that moving on a rise of the tomb raider at very high settings at 1080p we're getting about 77 on the 590 about 74 fps on our 580 and about 98 fps on the vega 56 interestingly over here when you bump up the resolution the distinction between the 580 and the 590 becomes extremely marginal where you're only getting two more fps on the 590 but of course these performance results are very game specific if you take a look at far cry 5 there's still a little bit more of a distinction between the 580 and the 590 but not by a huge margin as you would expect but certainly the performance results over here is a little bit more distinct than Rise of the Tomb Raider nonetheless. Now lastly, let's talk about price, which is always a tricky thing, especially this time around where there's a whole bunch of sales going on. Right now with Black Friday going on, you can actually get the Vega 56 for like under $340. Obviously this sale won't always last, but I would imagine that more and more Vega cards are gonna go on sale as the new crop of GPUs will be coming in as we roll into 2019. The RX 580s can also be had for the low $200 mark or even under $200 depending upon different sales so that's uh, a pretty damn competitive deal considering the fact that a base frequency version of the RX 590 is going to go for about 280 all the way to the low $300 mark depending upon different aftermarket features and things like that. I think right now the 590 definitely doesn't make a whole lot of sense to get. What will make more sense is when we have the new crop of budget-oriented NVIDIA cards come out. In fact, uh, the uh, 2060 just got uh, leaked in terms of specs and initial performance results, and that will be definitely an interesting comparison once that card is available to us. So stay tuned for the channel. Make sure you have notifications turned on. Check out the description for more details. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you real soon. Take care.